Some reactions have trailed the presentation of the 2024 budget by President Bola Tinubu to the joint session of the National Assembly. Some stakeholders say they are determined to double down on the attainment of the success of the budget. The president was able to capture very copiously the issue of national security, human, de human capacity development, particularly the youths, the teaming youths, young men and women. I think the budget will act as a stimulus package to address the current poverty line that Nigeria has fallen into and once again recover our economy and fertilize it for even growth. Maybe fresh loans. Partly because uh, so, some loans are maturing and they will be refinanced. And as always, you are not going to uh, finance 27.5 trillion all with uh, revenue. So there will be continued uh, um, reliance on loans, but less so. The important thing is that the size of the deficit, the size of the budget that is being relied on from borrowing is down. In line with our constitutional mandate, um, the National Assembly is going to scrutinize the budget and we hope that we'll be able to pass it uh, in the next few weeks. Some important points for you to note is that in, it came in uh, good enough time for us to be able to carry out the necessary scrutiny ahead of it being passed before December 31st because Mr. President has said and we agree that we should align it uh, the financial year from January to December. So we're going to have a, a budget that's effective before January 1st. About 45% debt servicing. That is not bad, except that we are borrowing more. Remember last year, debt to GDP was about, uh, about 6%. Now debt to GDP is about 3%. And we have, we have a deficit financing of about 8.7 trillion. And that means that uh, we're going to fund that from external borrowing. I mean, it's a fairly uh, interesting budget, and it's on infrastructure development. There are 11,886 abandoned federal government mega projects in Nigeria. Is that not worrisome? If you can complete about three or four of them, like, like Ajakuta, then you retain your earning, and that will reduce uh, pressure on the foreign exchange, and that will be very nice. It shows that for the first time, we are having a paradigm shift of what we used to have in the past to what we, that is new. And we want to believe that this is a trend that will continue into a foreseeable future for the next four years so that Nigeria can witness for the first time a government who have lessened its borrowing and also taking up its capital uh, expenditure. So I believe it's the right step in the right direction. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.